Greetings YouTube, Kundes here, and let's continue our EU4 playthrough for Sikh Hindustan, bro. Where we last left off, we were at war with the Timurids, and I will admit it has been a while in between the last episode and this episode, as is evidenced by the spotty release schedule, I apologize about that. And uh, I don't really remember exactly what I wanted from the Timurids and why I was still in this war, but I think I needed to finish this fort, convince them to be at low enthusiasm, and then probably go and knock some heads over here. Um... I did respect the size of their armies, though. That was a thing that I remember doing. Uh, losing some money, got some cores. I cannot core Quetta because I'm at war with Afghanistan. Oh yeah, Afghanistan, I should sit on that. Good idea, me. Um, okay, we're down to 31 war score. Afghanistan is... Oh yeah, Dawasir still exists in this war for some absurd reason. Why has no one killed you yet? You have no friends. You are meaningless. Uh, do I chase this, or do I just take it and go to fix my poor ailing economy? Holy crap. A lot of that is reinforcements, admittedly, and corruption. I do have a loan, apparently. Um, I should try to save my poor economy. And the poor inflation needs to go down further. Do I have economic, or do I have... I don't have economic. I Where am I getting inflation reduction from? Sometimes I forget even my own things. Does Timurids have an inflation reduction idea? I don't think so. Where am I getting inflation reduction from? Our advisors, buildings, and ideas. That's nice. I don't think buildings reduce inflation anymore. That's been changed for a really long time, actually. And I don't have an inflation advisor, and I don't think I have any idea for inflation either. I am so confused right now. I mean, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, I probably have a modifier. I probably have a country modifier that gives me that. I'm just curious right now. I'm sating my own curiosity, I apologize. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything about my inflation going down. Hmm. Unless it's one of these? I don't think these bonuses affect that. It's not a culture thing. I'm really wondering where my inflation reduction comes from. I certainly like it, but... I wish I understood it, dammit! I don't have any timorant ideas, no, and it's not one of those. Dammit, I keep going over the same things, and I just can't figure it out. So weird. So very weird. Unless it's a policy? Do I have a policy that does that? Um, I have a bunch of policies, but they're not exactly what I seek. Hmm. I am kerfuffled. Also, where do I stand on um, Emperor of Hindustan? I am missing 14 provinces, probably all of which are part of Horissa, who I cannot fight as long as he's allied to Ming. He's vassalized Kachar, which is over here and kind of cute. A shame also, because I probably would have liked to knock him in the face, but you know. And Orissa's expansion is completely blocked right now, but, uh... Alright, anyway, let's just, uh, get some peace out of the Timurids. I definitely wanted Samarkand, I'm pretty sure. And that was probably part of the issue, is that I wanted Samarkand. What's my war goal is Kokkand. Which, you know, I already have. I think I wanted the whole state of Samarkand. That could be it. Because um, it is a very, very good state. Could I do it this way? Hmm. That is 36. It feels so cheap. Ah, I don't, I don't think that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, there's more forts. Uh, do I keep the war going? Do I just take a little bit of things and I go? Um... I think I should take the Afghan provinces. Let's get the Siege of Afghanistan done since it's already so advanced. Maybe we'll just uh, dig a little deeper in Timurid territory for some occupations. Because he's not sieging anything meaningful, he's just occupying lots of land. Which is really bad for my economy. Let's get more possible advisors. Print culture sounds useful. Sounds very useful. Still cannot Corquetta. Okay, come on, take the damn fort. Take the damn Afghan fort. And let's save our poor ailing economy. 
Kill the random timber troop. I can gain mercantilism. Or I can fire him. Let's get mercantilism. Mercantilism is great. Especially when our economy is uh, suffering so badly. So very badly. He's building devastation everywhere. Oh, and now he's actually sieging a fort. Maybe I need to peace. Didn't think the level 1 fort of Afghanistan should not outlast me. May warrant Chitor that something Timurs has taken. Holy crap, he's sieging that fast. Poor Iron, that's a problem. Come on, take it. Take it or I'm going. I did not take it. I'm going. Screw it. Screw it. I will take this state and this fort. Oh, I can't take the boat. Can I take the fort? I can take his capital. Cannot take Termes or Charjui. Kokand? No. Can't take the Afghan province. I'll just take Herat for now and go home with that. It's not exactly what I wanted, but uh, I need out of this war. I don't actually want to ruin my country over a war with this guy. It's a shame, because I probably would have wanted more, but uh, right now I'll take what I can get. My economy right now is suffering through reinforcements. I got some rebels to kill, so I'm gonna go do that. I can now core both of these things, but I don't have the admin points to core them anymore. Which is what it is. I can do some conversions, but I don't want to. The economy is slowly fixing itself, but not quite. And then, oh wow, Herat was a really good province. I just ran away with a really good province. I mean, it's one province though, but it's still a really good one. I'm so close to being able to core this. <sighs> okay, let's kill some rebels. Oh, I missed them. Let's kill some rebels for real. Kill a single stack. And then our military needs to catch up, because I really need to fight. Really what I need to do is fight Ming. It, it's really what it boils down to. Let our army is heal up. Make this battle a little bit easier. Atejan separatists, where are those? Oh, wait. They're over here. You use the boats and go land here. Alright. That'll take care of that. Now I can core Herat. Ming gets a golden era. That's cute. Oh, I have war exhaustion that is negatively affecting me. What can I do with my poor economy to fix it? Reinforcements are massive because I'm healing this army. Um, makes sense, makes sense. You're a vassal of the Timrids. Well, that's interesting, actually. That's very interesting. I did not realize that this could happen, but apparently now that I weakened him enough, the Timrids could vassalize him. That's actually really funny. Uh, it's not like the Timrids needed the Reconquest CB on me anyway, right? This army is on the boat. Ah. Right, there's a French problem here. Do I have colonists that are doing something? I don't have a single colonist. I stole colonies, though. France is my friend, which is great. Can I chuck him at Orissa? Um, I can do some inflation. Goodbye, ability to core. If I was to attack this guy, can I throw France at it? I can actually throw France at it. Well, now that's interesting. That is very interesting. I can have France fight Ming. I can have France fight Ming. I don't know how useful that would be. But it's definitely something worth considering once I catch up to Ming in tech. I mean, the idea would be to just separate piece Ming out anyway. But if I can have France, you know, die for me, at least in part. Absolute government for absolute people. My absolutism is garbage. I have three absolutism. I am so absolute. Let's get two more. Aw, oh, yeah. Look at how absolute I am. 
That's gonna be annoying. That's gonna be annoying, I need to farm that. I can get better units. Which are not better cannons, I will not upgrade anything until I've killed these rebels. And then I'll upgrade. Okay. Hey guys! Bye guys! European traders in China. Excellent. What is this? Maratha separatists? Why do I have so many flavors of unhappy people? I mean, that's a little bit of unrest. It's all the war exhaustion. How very tragic. If the war exhaustion didn't exist, I'd be fine. Still need the Cortis. Ah, silly Maratha separatists. Truce with, like, the universe has ended. Now, do I have a coalition risk? Not really, because Sindh is now a vassal. <laughs> um, what's my military tech at? 18. It's almost at Ming levels. Which is good. Um, legalism. Always get legalism. I do not have enough of that. I can convert provinces to Sunni. I will not do that. I want to, though. I probably should convert some of it. Especially the stuff that is neither Sunni nor Sikh. Uh, maybe, but I don't, have the, I don't have the conversion power to convert the relevant things I'd want to convert anyway. Um, that said, I should convert some things anyway. Um, I can't afford it right now. Holy crap, my money. Holy crap, hola, my money. Let's drop army maintenance to manageable levels so I can at least make money. Jaism on trial. The Jains are theists as are we. Mysticism or denounce them and give me more tolerance of the true fate, which is kind of useless, but at least legalism. Let there be legalism. Such is the way of us. Scorquetta. Timurids aid Afghanistan. That, that, that solves that problem. Um, Ferdinand of Austria. Yeah, I really want to attack Orissa and crush him. If I make the war go like... This one, Nadia. If I make Nadia the war goal, I can probably take a lot of land. I can upgrade troops also, let's do it now. Um, guys who win the fire phase. And I already have the Maratha Raiders. My poor innovativeness, no, come back. It won't come back. It will never come back. I cannot get extra points, but I can get a general though, which is useful. Um, the Ulema can't give me anything. And I cannot gain useful anything from anyone else. Good to know. Now my money is trying to do better, but there's only so much it can do. I've lost the Commandant. This is sad. I should get a new one like Land Maintenance Modifier. You will make my armies cheaper. And I like you for that. I'm still paying quite a bit for reinforcements. Uh, but the cost is going down, technically. Can I do something about my corruption? Uh, unbalanced research is the real culprit here. Uh, they should have stayed at home. The Marathas are almost out of relevance. Almost. And I like that. We'll probably spawn regardless, just because this game sometimes likes to troll me, but uh, if I can prevent them from spawning, and the Orises as well, if I can prevent them from spawning, it'd be good. Just in case, I should probably fund my army fully. Which does not give me much of an income. But, it is what it is. I should accept the Afghan people. I feel like that'd be useful. Although apparently I have a lot more things I should accept first. Um... I'm already an empire, which is good. Hmm. Now let's move our troops back towards Orissa. Let's leave a single stack for rebel protection. Let's prepare for a war with Orissa and Ming. A war in which France will hopefully assist us, but France also needs to reach Tech 19 before it's worth considering. When can I get points from my military dudes again? 
In seven years, that's a long time. I want uh, legalism ducats. I really want legalism ducats. Legal oh, nice! Nice! The rebels are going away! The rebels are going away! Our war exhaustion is low enough. Excellent. Can I kick them? I cannot kick them. Unfortunate. Can I kick these guys? They only cost 50. I don't want to kick them right now. I need to I need to tech up. I want to boost my absolutism, but I really need to tech up. And I especially need to tech up in Diplo to reduce the unbalanced research penalty, which is killing me. Next month, right? Next month. Ah, yeah. Okay. Kind of relevance. And now our economy should be a lot better, because unbalanced research should have gone down. And sure enough, it has. It's going to go back up as soon as I tech up in military. A thing that I unfortunately really, really need to do. But at least we're catching up in admin. I mean, I'm not really catching up in admin. I've unlocked two admin ideas. I'm actually surprised I'm not more behind in admin. But, I mean... Scientific revolution will hopefully help. That is why we picked Innovative in the first place. I remember that much. Let's get a Diplo rep guy. Make people like me. Someone's so discontent in my country. Worst mechanic in the game. Um, which means all my rebels are now coming back again. Yep. Well, the Belichistani were always going to come back. These guys, uh, if I bump stability, I'm fine. But that's a lot of admin points to throw away. Well... Click the button anyway. You gotta compensate. Ooh, nice. Nice power projection. Okay. I wanna fight Orissa. I really wanna fight Orissa. I really, really want to fight Orissa, who is currently weak tech. He would be like easy to steamroll, especially if I hit tech 19. But uh, it's not gonna be possible. Until, uh, yeah, I really need France to reach Tech-19 as well. Because I really need France's aid. How strong is France? They're not very strong. That's also another problem. They're not weak. How big is their military? Allies. France has... We can say 100,000 troops. And he's currently low on manpower. And uh, Ming has... Well, me and Ming are about equivalent in strength. I mean, he's slightly bigger than me. I'm currently running on man on uh, mercenaries, though, so he will die to attrition. Eventually, the Ming beast will become weak enough to kill. What's his ideas? He does not have quantity, but he does have admin, which means that even if his mandate is at zero, he will not collapse. Which is a really annoying aspect of the current situation of the mandate's weakness. I mean, you can circumvent it, you can completely ignore the mandate weakness, like in terms of rebels. Oh, look, he's having rebels actually. They're being particularists, and he already has all of his uh, celestial reforms, and he is at 100 mandates, so you know. Meng is super stable. You're like the Oirat, who's also a tributary of Meng. You're like Dongu, is Dongu a diplomat? Is it Dongu is a tributary of Ming because he touches? Holy crap! Ming came out here. Hey Pegu, I'm become my vassal. I cannot vassalize this guy. Oh wait, there's a Spanish island. Hmm. Right, that was another thing. Oh crap! I have particularists over there. I don't care too much. Maybe someone will kill them someday. I could expand over here, that was a possibility for me. But now the Europeans have uh, appeared in here, and that's a problem. Who hates the Ottomans? I want the Ottomans to like me, damn it. Good job, whatever diplomat was hugging him. Because I want the Ottomans to not be my rival, but unfortunately they only have a set number of rival slots. As do I. I could rival Ming, but I don't want Ming Timurids to ally. Ming is currently only allied to Orissa, which is, you know, annoying, but manageable. If 
If I play it cool and smart, when can I get legalism ducats? It's gonna take a while. Get manpower, I don't need manpower right now. But I cannot fight Ming until I'm tech 19. Got some Baluchistani rebels coming. I really want tech 19. I'm not gonna. I really wanna click the stupid button, but I really, really shouldn't. Because I want absolutism, but I need tech 19 far more than I want absolutism. Ooh, that's a lot of money. I don't want to pay stability though. Goodbye, loan money. Hello, loan. Let's make our nobles happy. There's no point to rob them of uh, manpower right now because we're capped anyway. That is one loan. That is one powerful loan. As the loans that we take usually are. Uh, I can also throw Pasai at Ming, but he'll probably just die. We renewed a loan. Hello, inflation. Still haven't figured out where that inflation reduction is coming from, but uh, I'm currently not going to question it too much anymore. Nine absolutism! I am almost relevant. Kashmiri separatists. Why, why is Cardu so unhappy? Why is this place so unhappy? Oh, reassessment survey. That's your own fault. You did this to yourself. Um, yeah, once the Belluchitani spawn also is going to be probably another factor that determines when I can attack Ming. Uh, legalism. We'll, we'll, we'll expel people. Sure, you can pass. What are you fighting? Hormuz Ottomans and Malindi. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that, uh, Timurids. Are you just waving the Ottomans around like a club? Timurid reconquest of Hormuz. No, Timurids is like, I can face the Ottomans. Are you, are you an idiot? What? Why would you do that? The Ottomans are only at war with that. Why would you attack into that? Oh crap, the Ottomans are tech 20. Oh crap, the Ottomans are tech 20. A terrifying thought. But, I really only need tech 19 to fight Ming. And so does France, but France will not reach tech 19 any soon because Charles VIII Trastamara. Oh crap, Trastamara? France could get PU'd by Spain. Or Spain could also get PU'd by France. Oh no, but they rivaled each other, so that's unlikely at this point. That will probably not happen. Thankfully. <sighs> Alright. Deck is available in a single month. Oh no, it already is available. Cool! Alright. Should I wait for Tech 20? Tech 20 is better cannons, more combat width, and better infantry fire. Which is problematic. How strong are the Ming troops in terms of ideas? He has defensive and he started offensive. I have offensive, but not defensive, so he has more morale than me. But I have way better horses and probably equivalent generals. Well, mine are probably slightly better because of the siege bonus. Um, but yeah, he has more morale than me. I have more discipline than him. And also, does Ming have military ideas and his ideas? Uh, he has a 5 Discipline in there. And Landleader Fire. Oh, That's actually annoying. I can take up an Admin, which I will not do because I'm trying to finish Innovative Ideas. I specifically want Optimism. The other two things are not so great, but... Uh, I mean, it's useful, I guess. Yeah, this is not useful to do until we tech up in Diplo anyway. To reduce the gap. Um, these guys still haven't spawned. The Nadi Separatists are threatening to spawn, that's okay. Bruneian Separatists exist in Pontiamak apparently for some absurd reason. That'll go away. Changing patterns on consumption. Congratulations, Portugal. You are a thing. Ming should be tech 20 any day now. And France will not be tech 19 any soon. 
Uh, but we also have uh, ma oh crap manufactories. Do I even have a single manufactory? I have. I do have some. Um, I do have some manufactories, which is more than I thought I did actually. Manufacturer in my capital would yield a decent amount of get benefits, but uh, South Gowan is actually really good. Do I build one on my capital? I'll build one on my capital just to make manufacturers spawn. It delays repaying loans, but right now, we need it. And I really want to attack Orissa. Even if it feels ill advised. If I attack Orissa, Ming will come, I can call in France, I cannot pull in Passai because he is cruel. Can I make him trust me? Does tr is that 5 trust enough to pull in Passai? No, we need 5 more trusts. How old is Passai's ruler? Uh, 35, so it's gonna take a while. I have a Diplo rep guy, so that's as far as I can go with that. Um, if I make the world go Nadia, as long as I hold it, I'll be fine. And then I'll just... Uh, yeah, me and France, we can take them. I believe in France. Even if he's weak, at least he has morale. I'll probably struggle, because Ming will out-morale me. But uh, the Wargul shall be Nadia, and I'm doing it. It's a bad war, it's not a great war. My idea is to win this war by attrition. And also I left an army over here and I really shouldn't have. That is a big whoops on my part. I will try to fix this. I might not succeed. I might lose my boats. I might lose my boats and my army, but I will try to save things. Ursa's not the one with the fleet. Ming technically has a port over here. I have the Wargul. Now the goal is to hold the Wargul and to drive Ming out. And nice, these guys spawned, which means I can free myself and then come help. I will need all the troops I can muster for this... Uh, Neat little war we got here. I don't know how strong Orissa is, but I'm not too afraid of him. Because he is tech 17 anyway. His troops are even weaker than France's. If we were through mathematical definitions, then France should be taking care of Orissa, and I should be taking care of Ming. But of course that is not what's gonna happen. I will take care of everything, and France will dirt all around somewhere, somehow. But still, having France on my side is not technically irrelevant. I did see what happens when some angry French stacks appear. When France stole this from me. He does have a 20 stack down here. I don't know what he can do with it, but... Uh, we shall see. We shall see how much France wishes to help me. I don't expect him to help much, but... Uh, ooh, wow. Six fire. I didn't realize I rolled a guy that was this angry at life. Kalad Baluchistani Separatists. We knew this was gonna happen. We had planned for it. They're gonna explode. Ottomans are trade disputing me. I don't care. We've killed the rebels in Kalat. We have taken things. We are currently winning this war. I'm not gonna say decisively, but uh, I am definitely winning this war right now. Um, I don't want to lose professionalism. I don't want to lose ducats. I can just, uh... Hmm. Or I can burn Katak. Burning Katak makes it cheaper to take. Um, and it gives me money. What's my professionalism at, anyway? It's currently at two. You know what? Such are the rules of warfare. Damn right. It will burn your capital to the ground, you bastard. Who has dared to ally with something so impactful and strong to try to protect yourself from my wrath. Unfortunately, it will not protect you. 
Ooh, lots of ducats. You can now get print culture, which will be useful. And I have apparently reached the end of the episode. And before I forget, whoops, I will thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time, where all of my armies are now gathering on the front, where Orissa is the front. See you guys next time for the giant war of Ming.